Hi everyone, in this particular lecture, I'm going to explain the concept of macros in dbt. So the concept of macro is similar to a function in programming languages like Java, C++, etc. So it's a piece of code that can be used multiple times. So once the logic is created in a macro, you can use it multiple times in different models. So let me just give you an example here. So first of all, I will create a logic for my macro. So I have two employee table. I have tables like employee and department. Let me have a inner join with employee table and department table on the basis of department ID. So first query select star from employee. Okay, schema is prod dot employee inner join inner join department prod dot department on the basis of department id okay e and this is going to be d e dot department id equals to d dot department id and from here i'm going to select e dot department name where is department name sorry d dot department name d dot department name and i want salary so salary column i'm going to get from my employee table okay then i want sum of salary which is e dot okay this will be sum of salary group by one execute so this is going to give me the department wise salary okay now i'm going to uh, prepare one more query select star from so this will be my inner query so this will be treated as a table as a so now a dot department name just copy this department name and let me just as salary okay a dot salary dense rank so i want top two salaries okay of department uh, dense rank then the over keyword order by salary descending as rank underscore qualify this column less than three so this is going to give me the top two salaries uh, of department okay qualify qualify this will be qualify okay just execute marketing and it uh, these two departments uh, have the most salaries okay this one is uh, the marketing department has the highest salary so what i will do this is going to be my ma macro okay now let me just copy this and create a macro here so macro is going to be an sql file and department salary and this is going to be the name of my macro okay just copy this logic prod.employee inner join this prod.department okay now uh, to start with to create a macro you have to start with the curly brackets percent sign macro keyword and the name of macro name of macro will be depth salary okay so i'm not passing any arguments in my macro so 
I have already communicated to you that macro behaves like a function. Uh, like uh, we use functions in programming languages like Java, C++. The concept is similar. Okay. Look, this is like a function. There is no argument inside the inside this uh, macro. Now, this is how you create a macro. Okay. Percent sign and to end a macro curly brackets percent sign in the keyword end macro then the percent sign okay save this so whenever you are required to use this logic uh, you can you can call this macro okay so you don't have to create this logic again and again you just have to call this macro just close this now i will create a model new file and i will top salary dot sql okay and here i'm going to use this sql query just copy this and paste here just copy this and paste here okay as a so select a dot department name a dot salary dense rank rank from so now i'm going to call a macro so to call a macro i'm going to start with double curly brackets and the name of macro in this case the name of my macro is this department depth salary top salary okay this is going to be my macro name okay now save this sql file save this macro okay so here i'm calling this logic so this is going to give me the department wise salary and from here i'm going to get the top two salaries from this okay now in order to run this uh, macro dbt run so i'm not running a macro i'm running a model dash dash select and name of model top salary and press enter completed successfully now let me just check if a table is created or not yes table is created and let me just check the configuration file dbt project.yaml in this case table will be created because the sql file the model is created inside the example folder and the materialization is set as a table so uh, the table will be created in in the database and the database name is given as prod and let me just query this table select star from top to salary and i will get this result uh, top to okay sorry top salary okay marketing and it okay 